Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we will be understand how we can connect this Slack with the Salesforce org. So we know that Slack is a Salesforce product and many of the company uses the Slack for the communication that happens in the company. So in this video, we will be understand how we can install the connected apps. After that, how we can create the Slack instance using the trailhead module and then we will be understand how we can connect this Slack with the Salesforce org. So for that, watch this video till the end and don't miss any step. And if you are new to our channel, hit the like button, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get regular updates. Now to connect the Salesforce org and the Slack, we need to install some connected app in the Salesforce org. For that, let me navigate to the trailhead. So here you can see here we have the trailhead module where we can prepare our agent force org. The link to install the connected app I will provide in the resource. From there you can access this module and then as you scroll down over here, here you can see here we have that link. Let me show you. To install the Slack platform connected app, click this link. So here we need to open this link. And then here you need to log in with your credentials such as the username and the password. So here I will log in with the custom domain because we need the custom domain for our next step. For that here I am searching in the quick find. My domain. So here you can see under the company settings we have the my domain. Let me copy this current domain. Since I have already logged into my Salesforce org for that as I paste the domain that I have copied and then click on the continue, it will directly redirect to the installed package. So here you can see install Slack platform connector. So here I am going to install this package for the all users and then here we need to check this checkbox and after that click on this install button. Now here you can see installing and granting access to all users. Now as I click on this view components, here you will see we have two connected apps. So here we have the Slack and then Slack Dev. So these two connected apps will get installed in our Salesforce org. So here you can see installation completed. Now after completing this installation, click on this done button. And in the installed package, here you will see Slack platform connector. As I click on this, here you can see the publisher which is Slack and then here you can see the description connected app that enables Slack platform third party auth to connect. That means using this Slack platform connector, we can connect our Salesforce org to the Slack. Now here after installing this Slack platform connector, you don't need to do anything. Now the next step is we need a Slack org. Now here you can actually spin up the new Slack instance or what you can do is here if you come to this URL here you can see prepare your slack playground which is also another trailhead module from here we can create the slack playground so this link also i will provide in the resource so here make sure if you don't have the trailhead playground or first you need to create it and after logged into that trailhead then you need to prepare your slack playground as i scroll down here you can see here we have the email address that we have provided to our agent force org and then we need to check these checkboxes to create the slack playground now here, why I am creating this playground org? Because the benefit is here that in this Slack playground, there will be few users already added. And then if you want to practice along working with the multiple users, then maybe this trailhead is the better option to create the Slack playground org. So now as I check these checkboxes, and then here I am clicking on create Slack playground. After that, as you scroll down, so here you can see here we got the launch button. That means this trailhead has been created the Slack instance for our developer org. Now as I click on this launch button, here you can see it's actually opening the Slack instance. And now here you can see here we have the new instance that it has created and this is the Slack workspace that trailhead has been created. So here we need to click on this I agree button. And now here you can see we are on the Slack UI. 
Now what we need to do? We need to connect this slack with the Salesforce org. So for that, what we can do? Click over here and here you can see here we have the tools and settings and very important thing to connect this slack with the Salesforce org, you have to be admin. So I am the admin of this slack and because of that here you can see I am getting this tools and setting option and after that here you can see here we have the manage Salesforce organization. To connect this slack with the Salesforce, we need to click over here. And now here you can see the Salesforce organization. Currently we haven't connected with any Salesforce org. So here first we need to connect it. For that here you can see here we have the option connect Salesforce org. So here I'm clicking on this button. And now here we need to provide the domain that we have opened in our Salesforce org. So here as I navigate to the Salesforce, here you can see we have opened this my domain. Let me copy this again. And then we need to paste that domain over here in the Slack. So here I have pasted that one. And then here you can see here we have the option map users automatically. So now since we have created this Slack instance using the trailhead where the trailhead provide their users and because of that in our Salesforce org and in this Slack instance we don't have the matching user and when we select this map users automatically it map the users either this email field or this SAML name ID. So since we don't have same user in the Salesforce org and the Slack instance so because of that we will map the users manually. So here to map the users manually here we need to disable this one and now we need to click on this request connection. As you click on this request connection now here you can see wait for Salesforce org admin approval. Now the slack has been sent the request to the Salesforce org. So here as I navigate to the Salesforce org then in the quick find here I am searching for manage slack connections. Now here you can see here we got the option as I click on it. Now here you can see we got the pending request which sent by the slack admin from the slack instance. Now we need to accept that request for that as I click on this agree checkbox and then click on this approve button. So basically we have approved the request and here you can see again here we have the and after approving the request here you can see waiting for activation by slack admin. That means this connection has been successfully created between the salesforce org and the slack instance. But now still the slack admin hasn't activated this org for that again what we need to do navigate to the slack instance and then as I click on this ok button so here you can see waiting for approval and now as a slack admin we need to activate this connection and now let me refresh the page over here. Now here you can see in the connection status we got the ready to activate option and here as I click on this view details. Here you can see here we have the activate button and now as a system admin as I click on this activate option and then here we need to click on this activate button. So here it will take some time to activate and now here you can see we got the TS info technologies which is the Salesforce organization has been connected with the slack and also you can see the status which is connected. Now again as we navigate to the Salesforce org here you can see here we was the status which is waiting for activation by slack admin. Since the slack admin has been activated the connection between slack and the salesforce org. Now as I refresh the page. Now here you can see the status is connected. Now what we need to do as I navigate to the slack. So if you remember we have disabled the automatic user account mapping for that we need to map the user manually for that as you click on this users. Here you can see here we have the option to add the users individually as I click on this. Now here you can see all the users provided by the trailhead for the slack. So here since we don't have any matching user from the slack to the salesforce org for that we are mapping this users manually. Now here I will add to myself to this slack users. So for that here you can see here we have the user th and then the here we have some user id. Now as I search for th here you can see the user id. Now here I am selecting this one and then click on this grant access to one person. 
Now as I click on this option, here you can see the username, email ID and here you can see the, here we don't have any authentication status. So why this? Because we only have added user to this Slack instance. Now what we need to do? Whatever the user we have added in this Slack instance, we need to map this with the Salesforce org. For that, as you navigate to the workspace and then here you can see the user has joined. Now we need to connect this user with the Salesforce org. For that, as I refresh this page, here you will get option which is sign in to Salesforce. Now as I click on this option, click on this continue and here you can see you are about to connect to an external service. So here we are going to connect with the Salesforce. So because of that here you can see continue to Salesforce and then here we need to log in with our credentials. As I click on this login button, click on this allow button and here you can see your account is connected. To continue close the window and go back to Slack. The user that we have added in the Slack instance that has been successfully connected with the Salesforce. Now let me close this one and here you can see you are all set. As I click on this done, you can see this user is connected with the Salesforce. So till now what we have seen, we have installed some connected app in the Salesforce org to connect the Salesforce and the Slack instance. After that we have created the Slack instance using the trailhead where the trailhead has been provided some users and then we establish the connection between this Slack instance to the Salesforce org. After that we added one user to this Slack instance and then we have granted the access for this user and then we have mapped the added user with the Salesforce users. So thank you for watching. I hope you have understood whatever I have explained. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get regular updates.